great time. I went to Anime Expo in Los Angeles. The first night, Jay, Zodi, Kaiser were already there. So it was the three of them, me and Red, and we all ended up going to Gikaku. We ended up getting a ton of food. They have like meal packages where they have like a bunch of different meats and veggies that they bring out and dessert. Red was very adamant about everybody eating their vegetables. When like the mushrooms and the broccoli and everything was done cooking, he was like, eat your vegetables, veggies, vegetables, come on, eat them. <laughs> you need healthy employees. So I remember waking up relatively early and I stepped out of my hotel and there's people everywhere. I had to walk around the entire building to find the end of the line. It was insane. But when I finally got inside, I went straight to the vendor hall. When I was walking around, I saw Sea Dog VA, like Connor, and I wanted to go up and say like hi, but he was surrounded by like some people and he was like having a conversation and I didn't want to be a bother. So I was just like looking at him from a distance. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Let's put a pin in that moment, all right? I don't remember what time it was, but I ended up meeting up with some friends. We ended up walking around a little bit in the area and there was this like Korean beauty store, like this little beauty, this little beauty store nearby. And we wanted to go in there and check it out. So we all followed her around. For some reason, there was this one little display tucked in the back corner of the store. Let's just say a bunch of the VTubers and mods were playing with the Tenga on display. Red decided to take this opportunity and say, oh, there's one left to buy. I'll buy it. Numi was busy um, shopping for like actual things in the beauty store. So she didn't see this all play out. And when we were all walking outside the store, Red was like, yeah, I got my Tenga. And she's like, what is that? I was like, no, put your finger, like, put your finger in it. And she's like, why is it wet? What is this? Why would you buy that? I think she says, what the f I don't feel anything like this. <laughs> I think I asked her if it smelled real. <laughs> And I remember Shox just looking at me like, what the f is happening? <laughs> Shox was losing it. <laughs> Next was karaoke. We ended up meeting up with like everybody, everybody. Everybody ordered so many bottles of soju. So when I was tipsy enough, I went up there with Shox and Shox and I sang Chop Suey together. And it was a lot of fun. It was also Buff's birthday and Buff had gone out of the karaoke room. Numi was like, guys, let's also all sing happy birthday to Buff when she comes back. And when Buff came back in the door, we were all just like standing, like looking at the door, waiting for her to come back. And we were all singing happy birthday. <laughs> At that point, I was getting really hungry, so I decided to order some food. And the only thing on the menu that I was kind of like in the mood for were chicken quesadillas. It was the best fucking quesadilla of my life. It was so good. So my belly is full. I'm feeling so good. I'm having the time of my life. And then he walks in, Connor. And I was like, so I introduced myself. I was like, oh, hi, I'm Cinder. And he's like, oh, are you that VTuber that posts like the like, spicy stuff on Twitter? And I was like, uh, I'm one of them. <laughs> day two of Anime Expo. This was the day I made a little mistake. I was back in the dealer's room and I was hanging out with the boys. I think one of them pointed it out to me because we were like walking by and somebody's like, oh, look, Cinder, it's, it's Black Rock Shooter. And I'm looking up at Black Rock Shooter and there's hyperdimension Neptunia figures right next to her. There was a purple heart and a black heart. And anytime I see anything from these series that nobody ever has merch of I go feral so I point up to the top shelf and he's like which one and I said all three of these and he was like three and I said yes and then he stacks them on top of my arms and close up I realized that they're much bigger than they looked way up high on the shelf but I'm still gonna get them it'll be fine it was not fine these are the three boxes and that's my suitcase. It was not fine. <laughs> the next thing I remember from that day is the Hall of Life concert. <laughs> we had a little group together and we all sat like right next to each other. It was me, Numi, Hob, Hami, and Saikuno. Saikuno's so funny to sit next to though. All the girls were like fist pumping and like jamming out in their chairs. And Saikuno's just sitting like, <laughs> We were all invited to the Vishojo party. And who do we see? <laughs> standing there at this party. The girl herself beaming back. And Numi and I were like, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to go say hi. We're standing right in front of her and she's like oh talking god. to somebody and then she like zoomed out of there. She looked like she was in a rush and she was in a hurry. I don't want to go chasing after her. I don't want to be that person. You win some, you lose some. That's okay. That would have been really, really cool. Moving on to the next day. There were like um ticketed meet and greets. I figured, well, her meet and greet is today. So I said, maybe, maybe I can snag some, some tickets. And then I'm on Twitter. I just happened to stumble across a tweet of somebody posting about the meet and greet ticket line and people had been out there since like 4 a.m. We had this little group chat with the boys and I was telling them about how I would have loved to get a ticket to see uh, DDK, but like the ticket lines are so long. Clara was like, I'm like close to the, the front of the line. I've been here. Like I can get you the ticket. Clara was like, yeah, I'm going to go to her concert the night after and I've got VIP tickets for that. So I'm going to be meeting her the next day anyway. And I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I booked it back to the convention. I grabbed my ticket from Claro. Two hours later. And I was getting close to the front of the line, right? And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they switched the lines and they were like, okay, everybody with like a priority ticket go on this side and everybody else with like the waitlist tickets go on this side. And I ended up getting pushed like way back and I started to panic. What if she decides to like cut off the line and what if she's only finishing the priority tickets and she's not gonna get to the rest of like the waitlist tickets? But I had my moment. I introduced myself. And she knew who I was. <laughs> and she was really sweet. She's like, thank you so much for waiting and, you know, coming to see me. I was like, oh, God damn, you're an inspiration, girl. <laughs> Later that night was another party. Surprise. This night was Ross's party. Rubber Ross. Oh my God, Shoto. <laughs> he had a bit much to drink. Shoto walks over to his stove and he starts turning on Ross's stove. And Ross is like, no, don't turn my stove on. <laughs> you're going to burn the house down. And the Shoto was just like, hee hee hee. <laughs> and he ran away after like playing with the stove button. And Ross like had to take the knobs off the stove. And he turns around and I was there like watching and he just looks at me like, <sighs> this was the last day of the convention. I went to uh, the Mosa Box booth and they had a bunch of VTuber cardboard cutouts and Nano has a cardboard cutout. And they were like, oh, we're having a silent auction. So I placed a bid and the booth people took a phone number so that way they could send a text if I ended up getting it, right? And I got a text message that was like, congratulations. <laughs> I took another picture of her standing in the elevator to the hotel and looking out the window of the hotel room and I just like <laughs> Nano going on an adventure. <laughs> and then the next day, I had to figure out how to ship Nano home and all of the big figures I impulse bought. Well, Red, <laughs> Red helped. <laughs> it was mostly just me in a panic being like, well, what, what did I do? <laughs> and he was like, there's a UPS store like nearby. It's fine, it's fine. And we walk in with these three massive anime figures and this cardboard cutout of another anime girl. And the guys at this UPS store were like. <laughs> so it was Red, then me in the middle and Numi. And then Tricky ended up getting a seat right across the aisle next to Numi. Tricky, <laughs> she looks like concerned. And she types out this message on her phone in all caps that was like stank. <laughs> And she points to the guy in front of her and I was like, oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, dinner, dinner on the plane. So they gave us options. And one of the options was chicken and rice. I was like, oh, awesome. Do you see the problem with this meal? There's beans in the rice. Immediately after dinner, I fell asleep. And so did the guy in front of Tricky. <laughs> Mans was passing mad gas in his sleep. I felt so bad for Tricky. TwitchCon only was for two days. The first day was just kind of uh, exploring a lot mostly. We also uh, ran into Lily and literally the first thing she said to me was like, big boobies. <laughs> it's like, damn girl, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I went to go see the Eiffel Tower. It was me, Red, Tricky, Uni, and Dia. We took a bunch of selfies together with the Eiffel Tower in the background. I had made plans with Tricky, Saru, and Girl DM to go to the catacombs, which is like this underground burial site. And it's so freaking cool. But I have a video recording of me walking down the spiral staircase. And all you can hear is Saru just like complaining. <laughs> She's like, what the f are these stairs? I'm getting so dizzy. It's just turning and turning and turning. <laughs>
I went to a dinner with Gamersups and a bunch of their partners and a lot of the VTubers were there. They brought us to this really nice fancy Chinese restaurant. That's where I tried caviar. I wasn't going to, but then when you have such sweet Gamersups employees holding out the plate in front of you, you're like, won't you please try the caviar? I was like, okay. <laughs> was it good? Um, I don't know, it was fine. They told uh, the restaurant staff that it was Lily's birthday, even though it wasn't, and they brought out this big like dessert platter and they served us all cake. <laughs> so that was fun and we sang happy birthday. <laughs> I have this awesome chapstick. It is orange mango scented and flavored. So I, I put some chapstick on and a Tricky was sitting right next to me and I was like, Tricky, smell my chapstick. She was like, oh, that smells good. And I was like, yeah, it's what I taste like. And she was like, you gonna let me have a taste? And I was like, you want a taste? And then Numi came over and I asked her to Thank you, Chapstick, for enhancing my riz. <laughs> Press X to doubt, what do you mean? I've smooched those ladies before. Are you surprised? Come on. It's the city of love. <laughs> Just like thinking of how much has changed between my first TwitchCon, which was my first convention as a VTuber, to my latest convention. So crazy, so much has happened.